Welcome to the video series, The Operational Amplifier, From Abstraction to Reality. While the operational amplifier can be used as a voltage comparator, there are several reasons why you should not. We will examine those reasons and point out the differences between the op amp and a comparator. Let's take a look at the comparator versus the op amp. The comparator has two inputs, the inverting input and the non-inverting input. So does the op amp. The output of a comparator can swing almost rail to rail. So can the op amp for the most part. The comparator has a low input offset voltage, and so does the op amp. The comparator has high gain, and so does the op amp. The comparator has high common mode rejection, and so does the op amp. Let's say you are using two or three op amps in a quad package and you need a comparator. It sure would be practical to use that unused op amp as a comparator. There are several reasons to not use an op amp as a comparator. Perhaps the most compelling is speed. We will compare the internal circuitry of the op amp versus the comparator, and then look at the results of a test circuit to evaluate the speed. The intended output of a comparator is digital. The op amp's output is not often directly compatible with the logic family voltage levels. Additional circuitry is often required. The input levels of an op amp are sometimes not usable as there are limits on the common mode input range. Instability is another concern. Any stray capacitance from the output to the non inverting input can cause oscillation. I believe the first place to recognize the differences is to compare their internal schematics. Most internal op amp and comparator schematics in data sheets and application notes are simplified, but that's okay. Let's start with the input stage. Here's the internal circuit of the LM358 operational amplifier input stage. We reviewed it on the peak inside the op amp video. It's a differential amplifier comprised of a set of PNP Darlington connected transistors with a constant current tail and an NPN current mirror. Here's the input stage of the LM139 comparator. It's pretty much exactly the same. Let's look at the input specs. First up, the input offset voltage for the comparator. Here's the input offset voltage for the op amp. They are all in the single digit millivolt range. Notice the A suffix version of the LM358 has a lower offset voltage. As for input bias current, the op amp spec is very comparable to the comparator. Notice again the A suffix has the lower input bias current. The typical bias current of the comparator at 25 nanoamps is slightly higher than the op amp. Regarding the input offset current, as you might expect, is also comparable, with the A suffix being lower. The common mode input range of the comparator is exactly the same as that of the operational amplifier. It includes a negative rail and is V plus or VCC minus 1.5 volts or 2 volts over the entire temperature range. Now let's unveil the full equivalent circuits. The LM358 has the Miller capacitor, which gives the op amp the dominant pole compensation. And of course, the output is push-pull. Now for the LM339 comparator, there is no Miller compensation, and the output has two common emitter stages, with the output being open collector. This is often called an uncommitted output. It's very common for the comparator outputs to be uncommitted, so it can be pulled up to suit any logic level required. Also notice the addition of these two current sources. The national literature says these were added to smooth out the input bias current over the input voltage range. The diodes protect the transistors. Also, unless you were paying very close attention, you probably didn't notice that the input polarities are reversed. 
This is because there's one inverting stage in the op amp, which is the common emitter stage of Q12, whereas the comparator has two common emitter non-inverting stages. This reversal simply makes the output polarity agree with the input polarities. It becomes apparent with the op amp's output at full swing due to the Miller compensation, it's going to be slow to respond. Let's go see how bad it is. Here's a very simple test circuit using the LM158 op amp as a comparator and the old industry standard LM339 comparator. Both of their inverting inputs are connected to a voltage divider with half of the supply at 2.5 volts and the input is a 5 volt peak to peak square wave. Here is the comparison of the outputs. Notice the comparator output in green has very fast edges and the op amp output in yellow is very slow. I measured a rise time of 15.66 microseconds at the op amp output. As I've said before, an operational amplifier with dominant pole compensation is basically an integrator. Another thing to be aware of when using an op amp as a comparator is the possibility of the dreaded phase reversal condition that happens on some op amps when the common mode input ranges are exceeded. Speaking of input voltage range, beware that some op amps like the OP27 have a set of anti-parallel diodes across the inputs, therefore limiting the amount of differential input voltage. Another complication for using op amps as comparators is the interface to digital circuits. Many times the op amp is used on bipolar power supplies. Digital circuits are almost always referenced to ground. This can be accomplished by using transistor inverters. In this case, using a bipolar NPN transistor and a protection diode is added to not exceed the reverse breakdown of the emitter base junction. Additional current will be consumed due to the base current. The circuit can be greatly simplified by using an in-channel MOSFET as the inverter. In summary, while op amps are not designed to be used as, com as a comparator, some applications are okay. Make sure you understand the datasheet and its limitations. Don't forget that small, single comparators are available to be used instead of that single unused op amp you have available that you're so tempted to use. Thanks for watching. Please click the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content.